Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for a sweet potato pecan pie. It's sure to become a favorite with your family and friends. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need one par-baked pie shell, and this is important anytime you're making a custard pie. You wanna par-bake or half-bake that pie crust so that the bottom doesn't get soggy. You're also going to need some mashed sweet potatoes. Now I am using a fresh sweet potato that I baked in the air fryer, but if you'd prefer to use canned, or if you wanna boil a fresh sweet potato, that is fine. I really don't think it gives it the same flavor. There's something about roasting that potato and getting that caramelization that really makes a difference. You're also going to need some vanilla, a couple of eggs, sweetened condensed milk, butter. You're going to need cinnamon, um, nutmeg and a little bit of salt and some orange zest. For the pecan pie portion, you're going to need some dark corn syrup, chopped pecans, brown sugar, butter, an egg, and some more vanilla. Now the original recipe calls for maple extract. I don't have that, so that is why I'm using some additional vanilla. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our sweet potatoes to the bowl and then our butter. And I'm just gonna mix them together until uh, the potatoes and the butter are nice and smooth. Okay, next we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. So I'm adding in the sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, orange zest, my spices, and my eggs. And I'm gonna mix it all together. And now that I've got the sweet potatoes all mixed up, I am just pouring that mixture into my pie shell. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that the original recipe called for a graham cracker crust but I really just wanted to do a traditional crust, so you are welcome to do a graham cracker crust with this instead. Um, and if I didn't mention it already, I'll make sure to put the recipe in the description box. So now I'm just gonna set this aside and work on that pecan shell. I am going to bake this in my oven, which is preheated to 350 degrees for about half an hour. Okay, while I've got the pie in the oven, I'm gonna work on that pecan filling. So I've got my melted butter already in the bowl. Now I'm just adding my pecans, my vanilla, brown sugar, my dark corn syrup, and my egg. And I'm just gonna give it a good stir. Okay, so it's been a half an hour and I just took the pie out of the oven. And so now all I'm doing is just spreading that pecan mixture evenly right on top. Okay, so now I'm going to pop this pie back into the oven and let it bake for another 20 to 25 minutes or until it's golden brown. Okay, so I just took the pie out of the oven after 25 minutes, and as you can see, it is nice and golden brown. I am going to let this cool completely, and then I will cut a slice so you all can see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the pie. It has cooled completely, and as you can see, here's the inside of the pie, and here is the slice on the plate and I am serving it with some ice cream. It'd also be good with whipped cream as well. It is so sweet and so good. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more recipes like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.